channel. My name is Mike Wambua. I'm going to take you through Archicad basic basics and from this uh, video YouTube tutorial I'm going to take you through various uh, lessons on Archicad uh, or through SketchUp where we're going to apply material and uh, through Lumion where we're going to give uh, the design that we're going to make a sense of reality and a sense of um, a sense of reality and they also give it uh, some 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 touch so to get started i had uh, i had already opened archicad here so we're just going to get to, to eat archicad then because we're going to start a new project we are going to eat uh, new so on eating new uh to get started on archicad it's good it's good to to set up a template so for my template uh I, let me check let me check uh, anyway let, let me do with that template so work environment if i choose work environment the last profile the 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 last profile i used uh it is going to give uh, all all the all the dimensions i used in the last project or the set preferences on on dimensions set pre preferences on wall set preferences on almost everything so instead of instead of doing that let me let me let me choose a standard one so with the standard one i'm going to i'm going to do i'm going to i'm going to set my own preferences for a new project so to get started um let's load it's loading it's loading mm -hmm. so basically what i'm going to cover in this youtube tutorial i'm going to cover wall the wall tool i'm going to also to cover the slab tool so that in the next tutorial we can do something else Hmm. It's taking, it's taking, it's taking moments to load. Anyway, we are there, we are there, we are there. Yes, yes, we are just there. Mm -hmm. So, Akika is loading. So now, from from here. Uh, from this window, we can see Archicad has given us. We are going to start from a ground floor, so you can start. Uh, you can start uh, designing from from another floor. You always you always start from the ground. Then here we have our view window. Then uh, we have a three D view and uh, one elevation. Uh, this this these uh, so the elevation you can always change to an elevation that you would like to. To do so from our 3D from our ground floor, and uh, this is the window that you're going to work from. Uh, so this is the wall tool. I think I can uh, I can expand this, and you can see. So this is wall tool, door tool, do, uh, window tool, uh, opening column, blah blah blah. So we are going to cover all these uh, design tools. We're going to cover all these design tools in 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 various um, in various tutorials. So for this lesson one, I'm going to take you through some basics, and these basics include going to options to set a work environment. So we can we can do something. So. There, there, there are various things here that you can do. This is the customize. I can, uh, okay, I'm going to use uh, the, the, the select, the select uh, tools in selected group, uh, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so apart from that, let's do project preferences. Now here is where you get working units. So for length, I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose millimeter area unit where area unit you're going to see it in a in a in a in a tutorial that we are going to do the zoning tool we are going to see the area unit of specific rooms in the zone tool so this one i can just leave it as as it is 
then um, I think something else I can I can see is dimensions 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 uh, dimensions I prefer to use uh, plane millimeter because the, of the region I am I mean Kenya and uh, we, are, we use we, we use this method of uh, we use millimeters or I, I can either use a meter but I, I think I kind of think that using millimeters is cool having those uh, numerous zeros so it so now from the wall tool we are going to do something else uh -huh. so this one it's the outside surface we have the center we have the inside surface uh, blah 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 so with the i'm going to choose the outside surface and i'm going to explain why then this one i'm going to use just uh okay let me use this one then uh, we are going to use a uh, generic wall shell then um, okay other other settings we can leave them as they are then we have we have uh, height height from story that is we are going to begin from zero then uh, this is height so let's set it let's let's give it some settings no so let's give it some settings geometry and positioning so the wall height is the wall the, the given wall height is 3000 and probably i don't want to use that so let me do some negative 200 to do a so that you can do a 18 1800 millimeter tall wall then it okay then uh, so what i'm going to do i'm going to draw to draw something something that we can uh, let me call it the outer surface the outer surface of the wall so let's imagine that uh, my room let's imagine that my room is only 10 meters 10 meters that is 10 10000 millimeters then um, then we can give it some shape so get here uh, no. That's so bad and you can lock it there and say some six six thousand six thousand that is six meters so so from there i can do something else i can uh, go to the arrow tool then i want to drag a copy so i go to move drag a copy Then on this one, drag a copy, drag a copy, drag a copy, drag a copy. So, boom! There we go. There we go. So we can drag it upwards. We can we can either use the. I don't think that is cool, but anyway. So go to three D view. Uh, from the three D view, we can uh, can orbit and see the this thing is working. So generally, what I what I what I what I've realized over time is that uh, this one you can 
so that we can have this one running all the okay this one we can So let's see our edges, how they look like. So now we have clean edges. So now we have some clean edges. So we have clean edges, clean edges. Then uh, something, something, something that it's not working well. It's the some settings we have to adjust. Where this wall. It's running, we can see it's running outside. Mm. Okay, inside. This one the same. Inside. Mm -hmm. Let's do outside. So if I see it. Anyway, let's let's go to so, uh, some donkeys fair donkeys so okay. Uh, yeah. Anyway, let's 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 hold down shift and select each and every wall That's something i want to do so here i'm going to to say on the center yes that way so that i don't have then on this one i'm going to say to do something like that so now we have that one so let's rectify so let's rectify the surfaces so drag drag this one to there uh as well drag resize so drag this one drag go to 3d view so it looks like that so basically i can i can add something I can add uh, something like uh, a small room somewhere here so what i do i'll uh, this this was 10 was 10000 that was 10 meters so what i'm going to do i'm going to go to to the to line tool then i'm going to draw a line from here downward some some 200 some 200 or 300 300 millimeters then all the way five thousand. I, I just want to position it so I can offset by I can offset by five hundred. No, I can offset by four thousand, three thousand, three thousand. Then uh, like these by by one thousand. Okay, let me increase the distance to one to another to another two uh, to be three. Okay. Okay. Anyway, uh, 
10 by 3000 3000 enter boom so that's where i want just a small something like a small room so back to design tools wall so boom a distance of 3000 3000 again So what I'm doing, I'm just keying in the, the measurements. So let's go to 3D. Something like that. As you can see, the faces, the faces, they don't, they are not, uh, they don't, they don't have the same colorization, unlike the other, the other sides. So boom. So we can, we can change that, we can obviously change that to each boom, all down shift, all down shift, all down shift, then make this to go to the center, and uh, like that. So, eat this and drag it to fit like that 3d wind so looking good it's now looking good it's now looking good it's now looking good it's now looking good so this is like we are we are just on the first steps of uh of this design so let's imagine that with this one we are going to make a small house uh, a very small house that a very small house we are going to, to move it we are going to give it okay we can just give it some slab so there are various geometry 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 methods here this is the this is the rectangular tool rectangular tool is like this 3d view it's look like that but because our, our room is an it's not that regular though we have various rectangles so we can use that that method Personally, I prefer using polygonal. So let's go back and uh, hit delete that. So there is this polygonal, but before going to polygonal, let's choose material, the material for the flow. So then I'm gonna choose dab and single. Then the the this is the the width the height the height so it is starts from zero then this one i can activate material so this one is the outside surface the top surface of the floor personally i love uh, choosing wood a pine a wooden floor but we can always change that there are various styles Styles, tiling, and uh, there are various flow finishes. So, so I don't know which one you'd like, but personally, I've said I like uh, I like the wooden one, the pine, the wooden. But anyway, for now, let's let me choose mahogany. Then this one is uh, the edge surface. The edge surface. I, love, I, uh, I, I, I can love white, I can love stucco, the fine the white one. Then uh, the, this is the bottom surface, 
that one it's okay so it it the geometry me method polygonal the polygonal method it's like this all the way here okay mm, yes it's that one very simple 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 boom then <laughs> nail it boom so it has a flaw now so let's hope it hmm how can the flow looks like that kind of done don't love it don't love it so because i don't love it um, it's easy to change come here select select all change material to my favorite material which is wood which is pine so boom it's already there it's already there love that one it's not very shouting the flow is not very shouting the flow is not very shouting so kind of looks that looks good all the way so from from there we are going to from okay from from this from this point we're going to go to the door tool window tool and and employ other openings then we're going to roof this building and do some opening in the next tutorial so this is this is this work uh, as you can see here it's untitled to mean it, it's not yet saved so we can save this as a uh, save then you choose uh, i would like the pln format so here i can choose uh, i can say tutorial video video i can say uh, basic okay basic basic training one training one huh. that's spelling man training basic uh, basic tutorial one tutorial one so this is the end of our uh, video uh, video tutorial next do not do not fail to subscribe subscribe and Keep on keep on checking on, on on this series we are going to go all the way all the way from archicad design tools to archicad um to sketch up where we are going to apply various materials however the only materials i i like and i prefer from sketch up is uh the floor those guys have it so from so i'm going to that this is the end of our video please do not forget to subscribe subscribe turn on the notification bell so that we, you can we can we can go all the way together to have something like this 